Hi everyone, I'm Lily Genovese. I'm the coordinator for Trout in the Classroom here in New York City and the New York City watersheds. I'm here at our virtual trout tank located in Fort Pound Ridge Reservations Trailside Museum. This is the new year, it's January. I am coming in to check on the trout tank and unfortunately we had a huge trout tragedy. We had a big snowstorm, some power outages, and we lost a majority of our trout. I wasn't able to access the building. So we only have a few trout swimming around him here. I'm not sure if you can see them, but I'll switch my camera so that you're able to take a look at the swimming trout that are in the tank. And you can see I'm bundled up. It is very cold in this building. Uh, the Trailside Museum, because it's not open to the public, doesn't really have a whole lot of heat. So our tank is at 44 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's about how, how the temperature in this building right now. So a couple of issues that we had with our trout tank, I have been monitoring the water quality. Unfortunately, we weren't getting our nitrogen cycle um, up and running appropriately. It might be because it's just so cold in here and we're not used to raising trout in the classroom in spaces that are not heated. When I did my water quality testing today, I found that we finally have some bacteria that are converting our ammonia to nitrites and nitrates. Um, we still have high ammonia, it's about one part per million, but what we started to see just today is some nitrate and nitrite. So this is the nitrite, it is at 0.25 parts per million, and our nitrate is at about five parts per million, which is great. It tells us that the bacteria is doing what it needs to do, converting ammonia to nitrite and then to nitrate, and the nitrate is the non-toxic form of um, the the waste in the trout tank, the nitrogen. Moving forward, we are probably gonna be moving some of our brook trout into this tank so that we can have them available on the camera for everyone to see. We actually have another tank at the gallery space here at Ward Pound Ridge Reservation, just a few hundred feet away from this building. We've got about 300 brook trout there. So we'll move some of those fish into this tank and we'll have to figure out a solution for the brown trout that are in here. The brown trout and the brook trout cannot live in the same tank together. Um, not only were they hatched at different times and they're at different life stages, but brook trout and brown trout don't typically occur in streams together. Remember that brown trout are introduced species and the brook trout are our native New York state species. So. We will have to figure out a way to partition this tank or move the brown trout or brook trout into one of the nest baskets, or maybe just have a separate tank altogether for our brown trout. So that's something to work on. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I will leave some questions for you in the blog and I hope to see you next week.